So this week I will show you how to make a lovely focaccia bread. So uh, this one has olives, uh, sun-dried tomatoes and rosemary. So follow me and cook this at home. Once you've cooked it, send pictures to me on Teams. I'd love to see your creations. Uh, enjoy, this is such a favourite of mine. It's a really good one to tear up and share amongst family at home. Okay, hello. For the first um, stage of making your focaccia, you will need to make some dough. Now, I have shown you how to do this in a previous video, so please have a look on the, uh, the little YouTube channel there, and you should find a recipe for bread. So, if you're not sure how to make dough, then please go and watch that video first. But, I have, to save time, made some dough already, and it's been sitting in this bowl here, this glass bowl, so let's have a little look at that. So I put some cling film over it to let it prove. It doubled in size, and I've just picked it up. You can see my hands are a bit doughy, and I've knocked some of the air out. But that's okay, that's not a problem. That's going to go into our tray. I've greased this already, so I've used a little brush with a bit of oil. And that's gonna go into there, and I need to leave that for an hour or two to let it prove again. And what I need to do is just try and work it into the tray. The more you work it, the more air you'll knock out and the more you'll have to leave it to come back up again. It's not a problem, but if you're in a hurry, don't push your dough around too much. Try and be gentle with it. So there we go, that's fine. I'll leave that in a warm place now for an hour, maybe two hours, till it's doubled in size and then I'll show you the next part. Right, so our focaccia uh, bread here has risen quite nicely, it's puffed up, it's filled our tray. So I need to take my finger and poke some holes in it. Now I can tell you it's gone a little bit crispy and what I should have done is put a tea towel over the top. And the reason for the crispiness is that um, it's dried out a tiny bit. So a tea towel over the top would have kept the moisture in and it wouldn't have this crispy top. So that was a bit naughty Mr Stannett, but there we go, never mind. So you guys, when you leave your bread to prove, cling film or uh, tea towel. Right, I've got a jug here, and in here I've got some salt, water and oil mixed together. So it's a little teaspoon of salt. It's uh, one teaspoon, oh sorry, one tablespoon here of uh, water and one and a half of oil. And the oil I've used is um, olive oil, which is what you want for this. You could use other oils if you don't have any olive oil, but olive oil's really the best. Uh, use a little brush, or you can drizzle it on with a spoon. If you have a brush, it's quite an easy way of doing it. And the idea is you're trying to coat the top with the salt, um, oil, and water mixture. Now, with the salt, rock salt is the best. You want um, nice, chunky granules of salt on there rather than table salt, and that will give you a really nice texture. So, uh, rosemary is really good. You can stuff that in some of the holes, try and uh, break off some pieces like this, pop it in, I'll do all of those in a moment. Olives, I really like olives, so I'm gonna pop some olives in there as well, um, but you can pop them in wherever you like, like that. And I've decided to put some uh, sun-dried tomatoes as well. And you can buy these in a, in a jar. I've cut them up into two or three, into sort of thirds. They were quite big originally. And I'm gonna stuff those in the holes as well. So I work my way around. Once I've done that, it goes into the oven. Quite a hot oven, I would say. So about 220 degrees until it's risen a little bit more and it's nice and golden and brown. Um, when you take it out of the oven, it should sound a bit hollow, all right? So when that's cooked, golden brown, nice hollow sounds, lovely. Oh, oh, it smells so good. Um, so it's been in the oven now for about 20 minutes. Um, it's got a really nice golden uh, texture and I can also hear that it's quite hollow inside. Yeah, so nice golden color, looks lovely, smells brilliant. Uh, I'll let it cool for about half an hour and then I'll uh, break off pieces and, and enjoy this, maybe with a hot soup, who knows. Mm. Anyway, enjoy yours, bye for now.